Hello guys, it's Sammy from Microbot.net and before I start my Minecraft hacking series, I want to establish some basics. So, Minecraft on your computer is basically two parts. One part you know for sure that is the Minecraft.exe file, okay? And then as any game on your computer, it will store some other data as well. Now, usually games will store that data in your C, you know, your drive where you installed Windows, then programs or program data or something and then the game. But Minecraft does this a little bit differently. So Minecraft stores its data under C, then your users, and then your username, and then application data or app data, and then roaming or non not roaming for XP, and then Minecraft, okay? Good. Now the problem about this is we have all the good stuff in here, okay? You have your save files, all the stuff we need to hack games are in here. All the stuff we want to edit, the stuff we want to uh, mod and all that kind of stuff. Okay. Now, uh, the problem is the users folder by by default is invisible, okay, on a Windows computer. Now, we need to make uh, this users folder visible. Now, how that works is you go into your control panel. If you've ever uninstalled a program on your computer, then you know how to get into this control panel. If you have not ever uninstalled a program on a Windows computer, then you probably are not going to want to try this because you simply don't have the knowledge about your computer that is required to do this. Then go to Appearance and Personalization, and then Folder Options. On XP, just look for Folder, and you'll you'll find the full uh, folder options. <laughs> All right, there we go. Now here you can customize which folders are shown and hidden. Go to View. Then by, by default on a Windows computer this will be set to Don't Show Hidden Files, Folders or Drive. I want you to set this to Show Hidden Files, Folders and Drive. Apply. Okay. This cannot harm your computer. It's totally harmless. Just no problem. Just do it. Okay. Now you can reach your Minecraft folder on C, Users, then your username. Now, on XP, this will be called application data, as far as I know. On Windows 7 and 8, it is app data. Then, on Windows 7 and 8, you have a roaming folder here. On Windows XP, this does not exist, as far as I know. And then you have .minecraft. And that is where all the good stuff is stored. As you can see, this is my saves folder. Those are my two worlds that I have in single player. My lol and my noob, because I am a giant noob at Minecraft. Yeah, and yeah, that's what we need, okay? Good. Now, in later videos, I will not explain this anymore. I will just link you guys to this video, and here you will obviously be able to figure out how to get to this folder. All right. Now, for all the Mac users amongst you, I'm sorry. I am very, very sorry. I do not hate Mac. I like Mac. Mac has awesome design and all that kind of stuff. But it's just not user-friendly in the... I mean, it is user-friendly. But... It's just not compatible with most tools that you would need to hack video games, okay? It's just, you know, Windows is just king of the hill. They have been there first. Most people are using Windows. I, I don't like Windows myself. There are a bunch of greedy people. I think Mac, I mean, you know, Apple as well, but whatever. You know, it's just two evils. But Windows has the upper hand. Most programs run on Windows. And a lot of programs don't run on Apple. I just can't help you guys, okay? If you are serious about hacking video games, then get a Windows computer. That's the only tip that I can give you, alright? Good, you good. Well, then, now let's get going. If you like this video, just give it a thumbs up. If you want some more Minecraft hacking videos, just subscribe to HackerBot.net. And yeah, thanks you guys for watching, and see you guys soon. And God bless you.